What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Equalize Espresso and welcome back to Under the Black Ops 3 video here today on the channel. Today, we're taking a look at Rift, the final multiplayer map here for this DLC. Firstly, while we're still super early in this, truly, I thank you guys so much because without your support, none of this would be possible here. I would not be able to bring you guys this early access footage. And with the DLC dropping tomorrow, this was a dream come true. So, thank you guys so much for that and a huge thank you to the dudes at Treyarch and Activision for the hospitality. But, Rift, this is a map that I think you guys definitely will genuinely enjoy it's a really fast-paced high action map with a lot of close quarter stuff SMGs are going to dominate this thing but Rift is honestly another cinematically beautiful map here I think and as weird as that may sound since it's an industrial gritty type map this map is a nice break from the Black Ops 3 norms we've seen a lot of the maps where it's all color it's all nice conditions but getting a darker air to this map is pretty awesome and a nice little curveball here in my opinion but as for the map itself it's quite a small one here it's definitely going to be a frenzy of all sorts of different action here. There are three lanes here to this map, two side corridors and hallways that are honestly very, very narrow here. There are some ways that you can get around and maneuver without being seen, but that is with hoping that the other team doesn't step into that line of sight. But one of these side corridors has a cutoff that goes directly into the middle of the map. And of course, the third lane is the middle of the map here, which is quite open. Not a lot of cover. There are one or two boxes in the middle, and that is it. There's a nice little wall running pillar around that that you can get around the middle of the map a little bit more. But once you jump off that out of the wall run, that leaves you super vulnerable to a window shot as well as the passageway leading out of these spawns. But with the B flag, the uplink ball, and everything else in between, being right in that middle of the map, it is definitely a place where a lot of gunfire is going to go down. A lot of different action will happen here. So if you want to go in and try and get a lot of kills here on this map, that is probably the best place to do so. You can flank in and out in through the spawns as well. But the middle of the map is going to be where there's going to be a ton of action. Make sure you watch out for those windows. There's going to be some AR players, maybe some sniper rifles as well. And just a little heads up, if you try and jump into it at the beginning of the map, there is glass that you have to break here to get into that. Spider Bite from Next Gen Tactics was making fun of me because he was just watching me try and jump up and down to get in through here because I thought I could just jump and mantle in, but there was glass there, so... Kind of made that a little bit more difficult. He ended up getting the kill on me, but just a little fun fact, there is glass here on those windows, so make sure you break them if you're trying to get through. As for prepping yourself for what you should play here with this, this is going to be heavily SMG dominated. Once again, I use the VMP here all throughout this event. I know it's probably going to get nerfed here in the next couple of days, but it is something that is still a very viable option, especially right now, probably being the best SMG out there. But SMGs overall, because it is so close quarters, and there's not really that many situations where it's super long engagements in terms of gunfights. If you're looking from the pillar here that you wall run on, maybe into the spawns, that's something where maybe an AR would work out better here for you. Or if you're trying to go from the middle of the map and you're overwatching from the windows, that's something that the AR is could once again be super effective as well but for the most part SMG is going to be able to get this done here I can't really see too many people sniping on this map though I'm sure it will happen shotguns probably could be a very viable option as well since it is so close quarters the garage is right outside of spawn and right where the flags are in domination are super clustered and super close quarters so that stuff definitely will thrive as well here with that so SMGs and shotguns probably your best choice here going into this if you're looking to get a lot of kills and definitely something that can get you a leg up here on the enemy team. So I think that's just right about where we wrap it up here today, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, it is a brilliant map, a super, super tight close quarters map with a lot of action. I think you guys definitely will enjoy here, but I say that that it's a lot of different action here with this and it's small, but it's in a good way. I promise you that. I think you guys definitely will enjoy this one here. It's going to be SMG dominated. There's a lot of different fun you can have here, a lot of different flank routes and things like that. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this little early Early access first look at Rift. Hopefully, you guys are hyped for DLC 2 coming out here tomorrow, and we're gonna have a bunch of stuff. So you're just killing it up on the channel. A lot of content in the next couple of days, so stick around for that. We got Zetsubo no Shima coming up here in just a few hours. 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is when that will drop here for you guys. If you guys are excited at all for new zombies footage, make sure you camp here up on the channel. We're gonna have that here. Probably a good chunk of gameplay on top of my commentary, and then some stuff going in after we even finish the content.
come up. So that's what we're gonna wrap this one up here today, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Once again, stick around for Zetsu Bo no Shima gameplay up on the channel. If you guys like this video, please sure to like rating down below. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe on the road to 30,000 subscribers. So every little bit does help and is as always greatly appreciated. But my name is Nicolai Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care. Once again, thank you guys so much and peace.